Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a congratulations cable to the custodian of the two holy mosques, His Majesty King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in which he congratulated him on the occasion of the second anniversary of pledging allegiance to the Saudi King to assume the reins of governance. His Majesty King Hamid highlighted the deep-rooted historic relations between the two countries, hailing the development march and the successive achievements in Saudi Arabia and the wise leadership of its king, which guaranteed continued advancement and growth in the country. His Majesty King Hamid wished His Majesty King Salman abundant health and his country further development and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace today His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Majesty congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on the successful medical checkups he underwent, wishing him abundant health and happiness to continue his generous efforts in serving the country and its people. He praised the role of His Royal Highness and his contributions in enhancing the progress and prosperity of the Kingdom, as well as strengthening the government's action to achieve further accomplishments in all sectors, expressing appreciation to His Royal Highness's keenness in maintaining national gains. His Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his concern and follow-up during the medical checkups process. He affirmed his keenness to exert more efforts to serve Bahrain and its people under the wise directives of His Majesty the King, pointing out that the government is always keen to achieve further progress in order to provide the best services and achieve high living standards for Bahrain and its people. The meeting also included discussions on topics regarding the National March of the Kingdom. His Majesty affirmed that the country will continue the development process with the support of its people, expressing pride in what the Kingdom achieved in its various fields. He wished success, security and stability for the Kingdom of Bahrain. Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today at Qutubia Palace. The Royal Highnesses reviewed a number of topics related to national affairs in line with the government's approach to adopting more initiatives to improve the services provided to citizens. The Royal Highnesses also affirmed that the government is keen on achieving the set goals through the advancement of all challenges. They also exchanged New Year congratulations, voicing hope for the New Year to be one of safety, stability and development. During the meeting, the latest regional and international developments were also reviewed. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at Gudabia Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. 
His Royal Highness the Premier expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa for his follow-up during His Royal Highness's medical checkups. He also expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and to the leaders of neighbouring countries as well as the citizens of the Kingdom of Bahrain for their kind sentiments that represent a clear evidence of the unity and cohesion between the leadership and the people of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince congratulated on behalf of himself and the Cabinet, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, for the occasion of leaving hospital after successful medical checkups. He wished His Royal Highness the Premier lasting good health and wellness to continue his huge role in the contribution to the nation's development process in all fields. On the occasion of the second anniversary of pledging allegiance to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, to assume the reins of governance, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the achievements of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of its monarch, which has strengthened its leading role both regionally and internationally. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister went on to laud the wise leadership of the Saudi King in dealing with crucial issues concerning the Arab world. His Royal Highness congratulated Antonio Guterres for being appointed the new United Nations Secretary General. He wished him success in achieving all the goals of the United Nations in promoting international peace and security. He also affirmed that investigations are underway regarding the incident of the armed attack on Jaw Reformation and Rehabilitation Center, stressing the government's determination in dealing with such crimes and their prevention by the implementation of procedures that ensure security and stability, as well as bringing the perpetrators to justice to receive their retribution. In a related matter, the Cabinet condemned the terrorist attack on Istanbul that targeted in innocent civilians, affirming the Kingdom of Bahrain's stance with Turkey and the measures to be taken to preserve its security and stability. The Cabinet's approved adopting the National Plan to raise the efficiency of energy and the National Plan for Renewable Energy, which was submitted by the Natural Resources and Economic Security Committee under the chairmanship of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Cabinet also approved a number of other recommendations submitted by the committee. The Cabinet reviewed a new draft law for, reg uh, for regarding the press and electronic media, which will substitute Law 47 of 2002, that regulates press, printing and publications. Among the most important features of the new draft law is that it regulates media institutions' utilisation of electronic media. It also bans the confinement of media and press figures for the charges noted in the draft law. It also bans the dismissal of media and press figures without notifying the Ministry of Information Affairs and the professional body of press and media sectors employees a monthly early and without providing justification for the dismissal. The draft law also incriminates whoever assaults media or press figures and sentences them with the same punishments for whoever assaults a public employee during work. After the Minister of Information Affairs presentation about the draft law, the Cabinet referred it to the Ministerial Committee for Social Services, Communication and Media under the chairmanship of the Deputy Premier, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The Cabinet referred to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs, a memorandum of understanding between the Ministry of Education in Bahrain and the Council of Higher Education in Turkey regarding cooperation in the fields of higher education and scientific research. The Cabinet also referred to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs, a memorandum of understanding between the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs and the Russian Muftis Shura Council. The Cabinet approved the awarding of beneficiary certificates of merit for housing units and apartments, as well as other housing projects after they are approved by the Government or during construction. The Interior Ministry said in a statement that a group of terrorists consisting of four of five elements carried out an, an armed attack by using automatic weapons and pistols on the Reform and Rehabilitation Centre at Jaw at about 5.30 a.m. yesterday, killing policeman Abdul Salam Saif Ahmed. A second policeman sustained moderate injuries when confronting the terrorists. Ten inmates, all convicted in previous terrorist cases, escaped. Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa ordered the formation of a committee to investigate the circumstances of the case. 
The security authorities immediately carried out the required procedures at the prison and its surroundings, and the public prosecution was notified. The investigation and search has been intensified to arrest the terrorists and escaped convicts who are. Ahmed Mohammed Salah al-Sheikh, aged 26. Amar Abdullah Isa Abdul Hussein, aged 28. Mohammed Ibrahim Mullah Radi Al Tuk, aged 26. Hassan Abdullah Isa Abdul Hussein, aged 24. Isa Musa Abdullah Hassan, aged 24. Hussein Atia Mohammed Salah, aged 37. Sadiq Jaffa Salman Hussein, aged 27. Abdul Hussein Juma Hassan Ahmed Al Onaisi, aged 31. Reda Abdullah Isa Al Ghasra, aged 29. Hussein Jassim Isa Jassim Albana, aged 27. As part of the community partnership with citizens and residents, the Interior Ministry asks those with any information regarding the escaped convicts or the terrorists who assisted them to call 999 or the hotline, that's 8000-8008. All calls will be treated as anonymous, the Ministry said. The Ministry warned against aiding or abetting escaped prisoners and stressed that Article 255 of the Penal Code Law states that any person who either personally or through another provides shelter for a defendant accused in a serious crime or a felony that is punishable by imprisonment or against whom an arrest warrant has been issued, or a death sentence or a penalty involving deprivation of liberty has been passed and being aware thereof shall be liable for imprisonment. Bahrain oil shares index closed today at 1,219.82 points, marking a decrease of 0.63 points below the previous closing. Bahrain oil shares index closed today at 1,219.82 points, marking a decrease of 0.63 points below the previous closing. This decrease was in the investment and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial bank sector, representing 83.09% of the total value of traded shares. 46 equity transactions took place, with a volume of 1,629,019. Seven shares was 210,945 Bahraini dinars. 